what if all those years studying animation doesn't pay off everybody this is alessandro welcome back to my channel so yesterday i took this initiative and i asked all my followers on linkedin to ask me whatever they want one of my subscribers basically asked me alessandro i'm studying animation i'm extremely passionate you know despite the state of the industry i keep studying and everything but sometimes he tell me like the fear is there right what about if all this doesn't pay off what about if i invest all this time and money in studying animation for so many years and at, at the end of the day uh, i don't get a job maybe you know it's it's not for me or, or whatever is the reason or what about in that case so what is your advice and you know sadly this is something we everybody needs to come to terms with it right because uh, it's not just about animation it's about any job we can just say it's it's about life right uh, there is no guarantee that you, if you put the hour, the effort and everything, it's a guarantee that you eventually it's going to get a job, all right? That's the minimum requirement for you to have a chance, right? But realistically, uh, it, it doesn't mean you're always going to get it because at the end of the day, you need to have an artistic inclination and you need to like it, you need to be good at it, right? And just putting enough hour or time or money, whatever you want, it doesn't guarantee you that it doesn't work like this i used to think like this very naive when i was young um so uh, uh I, I was wrong okay so if i want to give you a couple of advice straightforward advice in case you're just looking for the quicker short advice uh will be so first of all it's better at some point maybe after every year or something you have someone reviewing your progress maybe someone who's a little bit distant in the sense didn't follow you not your maybe close mentor or, or your school or whatever someone else who can be a little bit detached who's obviously a professional in the industry or else his input is not very valuable and give you some proper advice on some actual review right to take a look at hey, this is what i've been doing after uh, two years of study am i going to the right direction you know and it can just give you some honest opinion up to you obviously to find the right person um, because at, at some point, you know, the, you need a, a reality check, right? Because when we're passionate about something, we can easily get blind, all right? And, not, and don't see our mistake, right? So it's important to have the, uh, a reality check with someone else who's not very close to us. Second, also, it's a, another important thing, always have a B plan. Because again, you cannot just put... Uh, like all your effort in just one things and then if it doesn't happen after six seven years then you're suddenly 30 years old and you don't have any prospect for your future that doesn't mean you shouldn't put all your energy into something but try to think about more of a like give yourself a deadline okay so like a, try to say okay you know what i'm gonna put three of my years fully focused on this and then see how it goes right and, or at least if you get closer before giving up, right? But it's always good to have like a, like a B plan. And I want to tell you something that happens to me when I was extremely, extremely young, right? Because since I was a, a teenager, I used to draw, I used to like make comics, right? Like anime, stuff like that. And I was hoping one day maybe to work as a comic book artist or a 2D animator. So I was spending basically every hours of my day while my friends was having fun uh drawings over and over right and even though after high school i found a, a, an animation school to the animation school that would teach me how to become a 2d animator uh, i thought about okay this is my chance i have to get it right because i spent all my times in high school basically drawing just for fun it says okay this is my chance now to prove and to pursue this one as a career right as so i was doing while all my other friends were going to university and party and stuff like that i was literally drawing six seven hours every day including the weekend never taking a break because i thought about it and that's where i was naive so I said, you know what i i think more or less i have some skill and if i put the hour every day i train for my craft eventually i'm gonna get into the industry because i deserve it i put the hour i put the money right like i am doing the right things right and my heart was in in, in the right place of course um obviously the school didn't give you they didn't never give us proper feedback to let us know where we were standing based on on uh, on um, on the industry level that we needed to reach in order to get a job that was the first issue and the second is that also 2d was about to be replaced by 
uh, through the animation, right? That was another issue. Um, you can start to see the very first 3D anim uh, animation back then, but it they didn't look very good, right? So I thought about it. Okay, this is, will never replace 2D animation. 2, 2D animation that looks so much more beautiful. Come on, <laughs> I'm not gonna uh, replace with this crap, right? And stuff like that. Um, and I can tell you a specific moment I still remember today, right? Because I remember I was studying and my brother, he was watching me, he's like drawing every day. I asked Alessandro, okay, that's you know fantastic. I can see you're very serious, but uh, do you have a B plan? He asked me in case you, you know, you fail. So about it. It's like, I hope it doesn't happen. He told me as a brother, I love you. I want you to succeed. But then what if it doesn't work? Well, what happens then? And uh, I was like, nah, come on, it's, it's impossible. <laughs> Look how many hours I'm studying, applying myself at school. Everybody's praising me. Um, I'm, I'm going to get into the industry for sure. And spoiler alert, it didn't. It didn't happen, right? And so I had kind of to reinvent myself. So first I tried a little bit of doing web design and it didn't work. It wasn't really my thing. I wasn't really passionate. And then I, I went, I changed to my second passion. I was about gaming. And I look at the gaming industry, and the gaming industry was still fairly at the beginning. So in terms of uh, uh, quality, it, it, you couldn't compare a game with a feature film or something like that, or a TV series or whatever, right? So, um, you know, animation was a little bit easy because I was struggling with making, with drawing itself. I wasn't really capable, I wasn't really that good. But again, I was too blind to see it, right? And so what happened after I, I, I failed at the 20th animation school for three years I keep looking for a job and nobody uh, applied for a job and nobody replied to me uh, after um, uh, you know I told you I tried web design it didn't work out right my at some point what I had to do um, I have to learn the software by myself I have to learn 3d animation and not just 3d animation 3d modeling rigging and everything because back then uh, internet was just at the very beginning and it didn't have all the resources that we have right now so I have to learn all those things basically by myself. It took me another three years. Little by little, I find a little job here and there, but it was a very, very long run, okay? And this is all because I never had uh, a B plan. In the meantime, some of my other colleagues, students that were with me at the 2D animation school, um, what they started to do on the side while they were focusing on the school as well, they also did a course uh, a course to learn uh, 3D animation or just in general to learn a 3D package. Okay, obviously, we are talking about uh, at the very early stage, right? So there was no animation mentor, no anime school, no school specified for 3D animation. Uh, and for me, I, I didn't really believe it because I was really passionate about it um, 2D animation. That's what I wanted to do. I didn't think I, I again, I, I was so blind. I was like, you know, if I put the effort, I'm gonna uh, go and get there. Um, and again, I had all those issues and this is because my passion blind me, right? I couldn't see that my mistake, I couldn't see that I wasn't good enough. I thought just putting the hours would be enough. And as I mentioned, it's a starting point, but definitely not enough. At the end, you need to have an artistic inclination. Um, uh, I, tr I made a mistake of trusting the school, always praising us just because I think they want us to yeah, keep paying them. Um, today, obviously, as I mentioned, I will do things very differently. After a while, I will find someone else, who, someone a professional who's working in the industry, someone who's harsh, is not afraid to tell you how things are, and let them review my work and ask them, hey, do you think I'm going to the, to the right direction? And again, I think it's also very important to have a B plan. It doesn't mean you're already giving up on your, on your plan too soon, but it's just uh, um, nice, nice to have, right? Like it's never hurt to have a B plan. It's always, it's always good. At least in just thinking about, okay, if I fail in this, what could be the next things I could do? Uh, another things I can recommend you, and I started to do the way too late. I started to do this one after I finished my 2D animation school. Um, started to have a job just to pile up money and this one will give you the, the confidence if you want to continue to study, you don't have to keep asking money to your parents or stuff like that. Uh, if you want to upgrade yourself and there is a course that is very expensive, but it's going to benefit a lot. Or maybe go with a school or private method, whatever you want, at least you have the money. I did that and after so many years, for example, I could pay for myself a private mentor and animation mentor, not in this order. Uh, but I could do it because I was working on another job not related to animation. I could save enough money because I was still living with my parents and that gave me 
more purchasing power to keep training because I really believe in that and I felt like at some point on the, on the 3D side I was doing better than um, to the animation uh, and sometimes I, I still tell people hey, you need to do this you need to do that and they're like oh I have, I have no money whatever I tell them get a job get a job oh but I want to study animation yeah get another job save money and then use the money to to uh, to finance for your for, for your school right that's, that's what I did even though in, in Italy the salary was extremely extremely slow and while I had a job I mentioned this in the evening I was still studying animation having a job doesn't mean your your day is over you cannot do anything else a job could be eight hours a day part-time could be four hours a day you can still have time to put into that again it all depends how passionate you are and you're willing to do like you you can see who is resilient and constantly find the time to study and focus how who is that take it more like as a joke as a hobby and find excuses to rest and you know not getting a job for you know saving up and then eventually pay for your school you, you can see the difference even with my students i can see who really give me 200 percent of his time and just instead who does it once in a while a few hours a week or stuff like that and i tell them at the end of the day it's up to you i cannot force anybody doing anything it's your life either you do it seriously or or you don't at the end of the day if it doesn't work you're gonna hurt yourself not me not anyone else right um, so yeah that's my advice I can give to you and uh, if you guys guys have any, if you have any other question I post uh, um, I put a post on LinkedIn asking me if you want to ask me anything you want just write a message there and let me know see you next time ciao